The average rate on a 30-year mortgage is now at its lowest level since February of 2023, falling to 6.09 percent. While that kind of drop could help revive the market for home sales, there's still an inventory shortage delaying the dream for prospective homeowners. But as CBS's Chris Van Cleve shows us in tonight's Eye on America, that shortage is leading to a spike in the home rental market. About 90 minutes outside Houston, Richard Bellote loves the view from his backyard. Every morning I get up and I go outside with the dogs and I have a cup of coffee. But he doesn't own this brand new house. In fact, it's not for sale. His Montgomery, Texas community is part of a rapidly growing trend in the U.S. housing market. Blocks of single family homes built specifically to rent. It's a good stepping stone. Despite saving diligently to buy a home, the interest rates are just too high to manage. He and his fiance feel priced out of their house hunt. And just really kind of crossing our fingers that those rates go down. Bellot is far from alone. A July poll found 86% of renters say they can't afford a home, and 54% believe it's unlikely they'll ever be able to. CBS News business analyst Jill Schlesinger. House prices have gone up by more than 40 percent in just four years. There are a lot of people out there who really want to be in homes and they just can't afford to get there. Built to rent communities began popping up in Phoenix during the Great Recession to meet that demand. People who couldn't buy a home but wanted a house. They are higher density and smaller cottage sized homes a literal cottage industry now spreading across the Sun Belt. Three metro areas are really leading this built to rent trend here in the Phoenix area, Dallas and Atlanta. But nationally last year, nearly 100,000 units were completed. That's an all time high. And part of the drive behind it, the cost to rent is less than the monthly cost to own. We're really in the first couple innings of the BTR business. Brent Long is leading the built to rent expansion for Christopher Todd communities. He says renters stretch from Gen Z to baby boomers. It's really renters by choice and renters by need. If the traditional view of the American dream is you buy a home and that becomes your biggest asset, what does this do to that concept? I don't think it takes it away. It solves some issues that are out there in terms of affordability, um, availability. I just don't want to own right now. Cassie Wilson rents by choice. Her community outside Phoenix is loaded with amenities, but free of homeowner responsibilities. Do you feel like you're throwing money away? No, I can live here in a house that is fully upkept by someone else. I would like to buy a house out here, but on the flip side, I still want to travel. This is just the perfect in between for us. While growing, these communities made up only about 8% of new residential construction last year. Housing advocates in Arizona welcome anything that helps address the housing shortage, but argue these communities aren't enough to push prices down. Back in Texas, Richard Belote sees this built to rent house as buying time to save. This gives us the opportunity to live in a nice place, a place that we like, a place that we can treat like a home and hope that things get a little bit more manageable. Home sweet home as they wait for a break in the housing market. For Eye on America, I'm Chris Van Cleve in Phoenix.